All right, so I decided to film today and sometimes if you're anything like me and you've got kiddos, you try to wait for that perfect moment, but in reality, there is no perfect moment. So my two and a half year old is not napping anymore. So she's gonna be popping in and out. I also have my seven year old daughter at home because schools have been pushed for another week during the Christmas holiday. So there's gonna be a lot of background noise, but this is just how it is. This is mom life and this is, I just, I gotta spit out things that I wanna talk to you guys about and rather than wait for that perfect time, realizing that it is never a perfect time. And so let's get started. I want to talk to you guys about a fun project that I'm working on. I'm actually working on a project for Kelsey Fay. And if you guys don't follow her on Instagram, go do it. It's Kelso Fay. And I will pop that somewhere on this video so you guys can go find her. All right, let's talk about it. So I'm doing a fun project for Kelsey Fay, Kelso Fay on Instagram. And she just started up a business um, called Elevated Backcountry. And this is where she's gonna be teaching avalanche courses in different levels and also doing some ladies rides, other Please. clinics as well. And so she asked me to do some design for her, which I'm so honored that she asked me. I absolutely love doing design. I do have a graphic designer's background, went to school for it, I got my diploma, and I work on design every single day. So it is an honor that she reached out to me. I know that it can be quite, a daunting task. It may sound easy to just throw a poster together, but in reality, it really does take a critical eye. And I I know I have that. And so I'm just honored that she asked me to work on this project for her. So she is doing a her first ladies clinic and she has guest coaches like Stephanie Cummings and she also has Ashley Chafin coming in from Alaska. And Man, I wish I was living in the States right now or at least get access into the States. Again, not sure where the world is in our pandemic. I have not been watching the news at all. So I have no idea what's going on. Maybe I can get down there to at least witness it, take some photos and videos. Um, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I'm doing. It's just gonna be a simple poster, but it's something that I absolutely love to do. So we'll get over to my screen and you guys can watch me design something quickly. And I'm keeping in mind of the photos that she wants. And she told me, uh, get, obviously gave me the dates, all the information that needs to be on this poster. Okay, so um, when you're designing a, a poster, and so this one is specific for snowmobiles. So it's a women's only clinic, and it's gonna be taught by some badass women athletes. So you have Kelsey Fay, you have Stephanie Cummings, and you have Ashley Ch Chaffin. And if you guys don't know who those ladies are, go research them. Um, so these are some big names and they are doing some big things. And one of them is Kelsey Fay. She started her business called Elevated Backcountry. And this is gonna be their first women's snowmobile clinic. And it is in February. And so let's talk a little bit about branding. Kelsey wants a badass photo. She wants, you know, obviously for these women to stand out and to give all the information on that poster. So what we're gonna do is, even though it's gonna be a square poster, we're gonna design maybe two of them. We're gonna design elongated and also a square, just cause uh, Facebook, and, or sorry, just because of Instagram, because um, Instagram loves square photos. So we're gonna do that. But what I want to convey is a feeling, a feeling of excitement, a feeling of badass and a feeling of like, oh my God, I need to get to this clinic. Like how can I go and ride with these ladies and learn from the best? So um, lots of, <laughs> that's pressure on me, but I am so confident that I can pull something off really well for this. But if you're a, you know, an entrepreneur, um, you have a business, when you're creating, you want to create from a feeling. And I know that's not as easy as it sounds, I really do explain more about feelings and um, you know your stories conveying a cohesive branding in my ebook workbook that you can download over at bratbabes.com and that will help kind of extinguish or um, cultivate a feeling within your brand. So 
we're gonna start off by basically taking some ideas. I love Pinterest to get kind of a board going. So I'm gonna be working on a board for Kelsey and we're gonna put in the badass, we're gonna put in the, get some color tones to it and we're gonna work from there. So simple, but I love to do research and I love to get the inspiration from Pinterest. And sometimes there isn't a whole lot of snowmobiling on Pinterest, so sometimes I'll just upload my own. And uh, yeah, so that's where I'm gonna start, Pinterest. All right, so here we go. We're in Pinterest. I am creating a board for elevated backcountry. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of purple. Kelsey Faye has purple hair. And so that is my inspo right there. And I am now researching Instagram post sizes and it's giving me the dimensions here. So I always recommend doing your dimension sizes. Now, if you're in Canva, you can collect different templates. Because I work exclusively in Illustrator, I have been trained to work in Illustrator for 15 plus years. This is my go-to program. All right, so I create a folder called Elevated Backcountry, and this is just a reminder for you to always back up your artwork, your photos, everything, and have an extra hard drive. That is where I keep everything separately so my computer does not bog down. All right, so the images that I get from Pinterest, I save them, put them in the folder, and now I place them on my artboard. As you can see, I created a couple layers. Layers is your friend. Um, you can do this in Canva as well. Now, Kelsey mentioned to me that she loved the um, motocross MX poster that I created for um, Brat Babes or Brat Babes Motocross Clinic back in July. And she liked the tone of it. She liked the action shot. And because she sent me so many action shots that um, we just think that it would work really well in portraying what she's trying to get at. Um, all right, so I found a photo of Athlete Chafin, obviously going huge, and I'm just tweaking the colors, brightening it up a little bit. It is a screenshot from Instagram. I, I was given, a, um, not given the rights, but I was given the permission to do that. Um, so always ask when you are creating posters. All right, so I decided to do a grayscale and in order to do, to sorry, I wanted to do a dew tone in order for to do a dew tone, I had to convert it to a grayscale. Now I'm trying to get this like purple feeling of like badassery, like the images that I showed you in Pinterest. Um, and I just drag and drop that in and I scale it. I'm gonna drink my coffee. All right, here, Halsey sent me three images of coaches and what I am doing is I am cutting them out. I don't want the background, I just want them and they're cute cells. So I am cutting each and every woman out. Then I'm also cutting out the action shot because I want the background to be different from the action shot. Like I want a tone and then this bright color. I'm adding some background noise to the sled. I kind of liked that I don't care poster with the glitching effect, but as you can see later on in this video, I am just not into it. So I'm not jiving uh, with it. So it's always great to test things and put it there and then move on to something else. And then you can always go back to it later. Um, you can see on my right, I have a ton of layers. I'm wearing my glasses and I'm trying to read this. This is a tiny screen. So I have text, I have logos, I have images, I have vector stock. So those are my um, shapes. Back, uh, purple background and then background. So I have quite a few layers and then that way I can shut um, things off or lock them uh, if I need to, if I need to start um, moving things around. Um, right now I'm just choosing fonts. Fonts are a lot of fun and I am a 
again, trying to create this like neon purple effect. Again, the badassery of these babes. And uh, I'm just really trying to create a poster that's, you know, badass that, you know, makes me want to go. And I say this a lot, but when I do things, when I create things, when I, the reason why I started Brat Babes is because I want it for myself. So um, when I'm designing, I think, okay, I'm going to design this poster for women uh, sledding. Uh, it's a women's snowmobile clinic. So what would I want out of it? What would make me excited about it? Um, it's pretty neat to put my passion into somebody else's poster, if that makes sense. And I think that's, you know, it comes from passion, right? When you're designing, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, what's the best word for this? Or like, you know, I always refer to like my inner child. Like, what would I want, what, you know? seven years ago or eight years ago when I first started sledding with these big names, like what kind of poster would I want to see and be attracted to? Okay, so I'm placing all the information that Kelsey has given me. I do usually do this at the very beginning is I create my swatch color tone blocks. So I'm surprised I'm doing this in the middle of designing, um, but this gives me some tonage tonage <laughs> uh just to give me some reference for uh color points and and stuff this is funny i recorded this like a month ago and now i'm recording what date are we on we're february 6th <laughs> i'm critiquing or watching my uh artwork afterwards and trying to talk about it so i can't tell you exactly what was going on at that moment but um this is this is fun all right, so I opened up my old poster from the motocross and I just took a couple elements. I took the um, new Brat Babes logo because we're going to add that to the poster. And I also um, brought over this bar with like checkered parts to it that I created and designed in, back in July. So I wanted to keep those. So why try to redesign it when I can just <clears throat> pull it off the poster. Saves me time. Um, all right. I am deleting these glitch effect thing. Um, I just wasn't jiving with it. And yeah, so I am thinking here, I'm sure no, there's no movement. <laughs> All right, so I am adding now the coaches' names to those bars that I just brought over from the other poster. So I'm just curious for those of you that are just getting into design or dabbling in it, or you know you've you've been doing it for a while. Like, where does your inspiration comes come from? Where does your inspiration come from? Because you know, um, I'm sure you have experienced creator creator's block. I often get that. So I'm curious, do you go on Pinterest? Are you kind of the same? Like you start at Pinterest and you get like a visual references. Um, do you go onto Instagram? Do you go onto, uh, YouTube? What are, where do you get your references from? I would love to know. You can comment down below on the box and let me know. As mentioned, I get a lot of my references from Pinterest and there are a few snowmobiling like shots on Pinterest, but I find that there isn't really a whole lot of like sled posters or, you know, that sort of thing. There's quite a few actually dirt bike stuff um, that I find on Pinterest. I think just dirt biking is way more popular than sledding. <laughs> All right, so I'm just trying to add some texture with this transparent box and adding the website. I'm not liking a few things, and uh, but once again, once I don't like something or I don't mind it, I always come back to it. So um, I like to add textures. I like to add layers to my posters just to try to group things where it doesn't look like there's floating text or if there is floating text, 
um, that it belongs somewhere. I always say this and I say this to my daughters all the time is like, we need to find home for things. So we need to find a home for the text that you, you know, you understand it and it's either grouped so you can read it or it's grouped separately, but it's, you know, your eye kind of wanders around the page as if you're reading it and you understand what's happening. <clears throat> so yeah, just move in this box and try and see where I want to put it. And I'm not loving the all levels welcome and then the coach names because it doesn't look like it fits, you know, um, with that transparent box. So there's like this weird thing happening. That's my critique <laughs> for myself. <laughs> This is fun, critiquing my own work. All right, so um, I know I had to stop uh, designing and I came back at it and I forgot to hit record, but this is what I came up with. And like I mentioned earlier, Kelsey sent me three images of each girl sending it. So I decided to keep it a square rather than muck around with a you know, rectangle poster. And I just find that this fits. You can see the rider, you can see the girls, um, and there's a whole lot of texture happening with the trees, with the um, sky, with the snow. And I think that they turned out really well. It's They're simple, but they're action packed. And with the backgrounds being the grayscale and then the riders being colorful, I think really helps. And each one is different and yeah, this is what I came up with. And I'm really happy. Um, at the end, we did swap out. So each girl would be in the middle of their shot. So for example, Kelsey, I moved her to the middle. So you knew that was Kelsey's poster. And then Steph, I would move her in the middle. And then Ashley in the middle. So that would be our final, final posters. But I didn't record it. So um this is just a reminder that Kelsey is putting on this ladies clinic and it's happening February 19th and 20th. So if you guys are in and around the area of Mount Washington, Mount Washington, did I say that? Mount Baker in Washington. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, go sign up. These are some talented ladies and I really wish that I could make it and be there because these are women that I look up to and they have inspired me for a very long time. So that is February 19th and 20th. So this video is gonna come out at least a week before those dates. So if you're watching this and you're inspired to go take the clinic, please go do that. I will add Kelsey's info, her website and everything that you guys can uh, sign up. and. That is it. That is my tutorial on, or not tutorial, sorry. This is a come into a designing poster video with me. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little bit about something, whether it's keeping your files organized, where you get your inspiration from, and just layers. I do everything in layers. And if I'm not loving something, I always go and do something else and come back to it later. And we do need those breaks. Those breaks are very important because when, as you can see, there was the purple background. I took a break and then I came back and obviously the posters looked completely different. And that's because I just, when I came back, I didn't love the purple background. And I knew that I wanted these shots to be a gray background, but the sweaters being the bright and colorful. So yeah, I'm really happy with those posters and uh, I hope you guys have fun designing. If you have any questions, maybe even about Illustrator or Canva, you guys let me know in the comments. I would actually even love to see what you guys come and create, come up with and create with. And you guys can even send me a DM on my personal Instagram page, which is Angelisa Edwards. And I would love to see your artwork. So um, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Have safe, 
have safe. <laughs> I obviously can't talk today. Be safe out there if you're riding. Have fun and uh, yeah, wrap on. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.